Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, giving you an update video on the PulseCon 2024 Marvel Legends reveals that just happened today. And I gotta say, there's a lot less stuff than I was anticipating. If you guys saw me, Sentry, and X-Men 87 talking about this stuff yesterday, you could clearly tell that, you know, we guessed so many figures that didn't make it. I mean, there's just so much less uh, revealed over here than... I was expecting I was expecting something bigger. We mostly got Secret Wars stuff, but let, let's go ahead and get into it. And again, if you're trying to get your new Marvel Legends, can get them over at Big Big Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So the guys opened the stream with no Dan, but Ryan and Dwight did their uh, Spider-Man and ned handshake which was very silly to see and uh, i'm happy to see them having fun i don't think there's any harm in goofing around but that's coming from me you know what i mean anyway they started the show with the fan vote uh so they talked about like the you know guess whose favorite character it is that you know so you could pick one i i hit number one because i thought we'd get banshee and they tell us they told us at the end of the stream, and I'll tell you at the end of the video which one won and which figure that is. Uh, before they got into any reveals, they brought out Kang with the chair, and it looks dope. I saw it over at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, that's available today. Uh, Dragon Man, we've seen that. They actually got into some specifics with the, dra with the Dragon Man, how the tail has bendy wire in it, even though it's sectioned off that way. They brought this little acrylic stand uh, so you could see it in color, which I thought was kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, it's going to have an articulated jaw, an articulated tongue, and that bendy wire tail, and it's going to have articulated toes. Uh, the one downside that I saw from this was Dwight was trying to put the glasses on the figure, and they could clearly not stay on. And... Now I'm kind of like, well, how how good is that going to work? Are, are those glasses popping off super easy or what? I don't know. Hopefully they give up, you know, another explanation around that. We can get some kind of decent, uh, some decent demo of those glasses actually staying on the head would be a smart move. But let's move on to the first reveal. They started with Spider-Man, an animated Spider-Man, which got me really excited right off the bat. However, I still think it looks good. I still want it, but I am a bummed out collector right now because they're using what looks like the Sunfire body mold, unless I'm mistaken. Kind of looks like the Amazing Fantasy 15 mold a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's the updated Sunfire body mold. He does not have articulated toes. I do like the head sculpts, and he does come with a flash head sculpt and an unmasked mask right there along with all the heads that you or along with the hands that you need for a spider-man figure so i am thinking this is yeah it it looks like the sunfire body mold to me i think we're gonna get a ball joint with a hinge i can't really tell from the images so that part of it makes me happy i have to wait till i get my hands on it but i was at first super excited about it and then that excitement kind of dwindled a little bit uh, you can see that he's going to be packed here with the animated vulture so this is like our third animated series spider-man pretty crazy right but anyway yeah having these two together totally makes sense and the vulture does look pretty damn sick having an animated vulture like this it, it makes sense with his uh he, he's kind of gotten his youth juice on and he looks pretty dope i feel like these are the falcon wings again that, that could all be reused from the falcon figure which i really wouldn't be surprised about but you can see the accessories that he's going to come with right here not looking too bad uh and then they they have the alternate head right over there then they said that we are going to uh not just that we're just going to get some secret wars figures aside from this and that's all the reveals that we got uh but you could see all the animated series packs and they put them all together right over here and um and yeah so they went on to show off a uh, secret wars comic right here and oh that picture's all blurry so never mind that sorry uh but yeah they talked about how they've made some other secret wars figures and the first reveal is the beyonder and i am so pumped that they did it this is one that both x manny 87 and i really really wanted and as x manny predicted the legs yeah that that's that that's 
the the legs that he said that they're going to be from the Red Skull and Dormammu. I love the accessories, and we're, they went into how the villains have the square pieces, and you could swap out those images right over there. Uh, the heroes have the the shield that's shaped in a circle, and I think it, it's cool that you could swap those out and and have fun with them. You know, a little bit of a nostalgia trip for those that got them early back in the day. The packaging size is just the same size as the retro card Iron Man, so that makes sense. And I gotta say, this card looks dope, man. I think I'm gonna want two of these. I I, I rarely do this, but I do do it time to, you know once in a while. Uh, I just want an extra one mint on card and one for the collection for sure. So I'm stoked to get the Beyonder, man. Very pumped about that one. That's one I've been wanting for a long time. Another one is is uh, Titania. That's a figure that a lot of people have been asking for, and I think she's been needed for the collection, and I think this looks great. I love those thighs. I believe he said the thigh cut is hidden underneath the boot, which I think is a very cool move to do because it makes the legs look better. Her legs look great, man, and the head sculpt looks good. Uh, again she's gonna come with the square shield i just think she looks fantastic all like through and through but uh, and they have this accessory with each of them and then i thought that was awesome that ryan busted out the she hulk so you could see them side by side right off the bat fairly certain she's supposed to be shorter than she hulk and i think that looks really good and then the next reveal uh, which we saw coming i saw this one coming was the brown that brown suit wolverine that they put out put out over in the glass at San Diego Comic-Con. It was a Secret Wars figure, not a Marvel versus Cap or a video game figure. And yeah, this looks really really good and I I I like the head sculpt. Head sculpt looks great. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how he looked in those comics. And I like the how the hair on the arm looks over here, so I think that's cool. They talked about doing something like with the retro clip claws. I'm glad that they decided not to do that. Uh, apparently Dan Yoon's saying that next year's Wolverine figure is going to be even better than this year's Wolverine, but this one looks dope as hell to me. I want it. I think it looks sick as hell. Based off the artwork, it looks accurate. Again, I like the card. They did mention how that stripe going down the center into the belt is purposefully thinner, as that's how it looked on the Secret Wars toy back in the day. Next one is... Oh, and then they busted him out over here. Forgot that I had this picture. Uh, they, we got Iron Man. I think it's the 80 years Iron Man body mold, or it could be the retro card one that we'd gotten from a few years back, uh, or the hologram Iron Man, I think. Uh, but I'm not that stoked off of this one. This is probably my least desired release. I, you know, it's just not offering a whole lot of new aside from the freaking uh, the guns right there, and he's going to come with roller skates, which I'm happy to see an Iron Man with roller skates. You know, that's true to the comics, but I'm not, like, to get a whole redone figure just because of that. And then they mentioned that C-clamp hand, that being the first time an Iron Man has that, but I don't think that's true. I think they forgot about the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom version deluxe figure that came with the big gun so that one has a seat clamp hand too so i don't know what i don't know how they forgot about that it's their own figure but hey it could happen i've forgotten my own songs before i've made up songs and i can't even remember how to play them sometimes so i guess i guess it happens but still kind of weird uh and the card again looks dope i'm just not thrilled about the figure captain america century called captain america this was his pick giving it up to century over here it looks dope uh, I, I never thought it wouldn't look dope uh, he's got, he looks like he's smiling here, but in other pictures it looked like he was angry. And he's going to be pinless. He's coming with a busted shield, which is great. You could clip on the big piece onto his hand. And there he is looking angry. Um, he's not yelling like we talked about in the stream yesterday, but I am happy to see him angry with the gritted teeth. It still works for the, this stands for France kind of thing, even though it's the ultimate Captain America. But this figure looks dope. I wish he came with a regular shield, not this shield, but a third shield of, you know, the classic shield without it being all broken. I feel like it, it should have come with that. But you get two different heads to put in there, two different images, and then there's Captain America on their display. But, yeah, it, it would have been nice if he had just a regular shield to come along with him instead of only the busted shield. That bums me out, but I have a shield I could use, but still he should come with a regular shield. And then uh, one that I got really pumped for also, which I also called, was Black Suit Spider-Man. And I think we talk, we did talk about which 
suit they would use and i thought that the amazing fantasy 15 suit would have been great and it works i think it really does work for this figure i like that new squinty eyed head sculpt by the way i think that's one that we've needed for a long time i really like that a lot i do like that they retooled the biceps so you're not going to get those holes in the biceps like we'd seen with the amazing fantasy 15 figure and um yeah, uh, it's these are good. I think this is a good one. I just wish that he had the blue shading paint detail. Even that image on the shield, he's got the blue shading on there. So I wish they'd done that. That's what I really wanted to see. But I'm still going to be happy to get this figure. And here's all four of the Secret Wars heroes together. All in one group shot right over there. Then you can see all six figures. So these are going to be available at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. our time on the West Coast. Uh, which is only 10 minutes away from now, but you're probably watching this video much later than when I'm shooting it, obviously, right? There's the back of the packaging, and I think that's pretty sweet. I forgot the name of the content creator or the animator who did this, but that little animated showcase, I thought that was awesome. Uh, I, I'm, you could watch that on the Pulse. I thought it looked great. Or I'm sure Robo's going to put that in the intro of his next Rewind. That's a guarantee. And it, I, which I kind of wish I could you know i i may throw it in here in this video who knows but i thought they did a great job with it and uh the animation looks great seeing them in action is pretty damn awesome so um yeah man i'm pretty pumped for this uh i i like it i just wish we'd gotten more reveals you know what i mean i just felt like we could have gotten more um and then speaking of which they had two more reveals they they said that dan won the fan vote and dan's favorite character is nightcrawler so we are getting an x-force nightcrawler i'm happy with this body mold enough to to get this figure uh, was he not gonna have a diaphragm cut am i tripping oh, no he has a waist cut right there that's right okay so maybe some changes to the body mold but still uh, i'm happy to get this figure uh, i felt like i've been wanting an x-force or an uncanny x-force nightcrawler for a long time he's my favorite x-man so i'm stoked to get this for sure. I'm happy about that. And then we got a tease. Uh, Dwight busted out uh, something over here. And I think it's in... I think that's the prototype color for it. But you can see right over here we have a mask. It looks like a mask on the floor. Uh, shout out to Nacho Cheese from the Breakfast Party. He, uh, I think he called that being a chameleon uh, accessory right there. And I think he might be... I think he's right, but... I was trying to wrap my head around who else it could possibly be because this reminds me of something that I saw in a Punisher book. I, and I could be totally wrong about that. And I don't know who or where. Maybe it's... But for some reason, this reminded me of something that I'd seen in a Garth Ennis Punisher book. I'm thinking Punisher for some reason. And I think I'm going to be the only idiot to say that. I don't think anybody else is thinking Punisher. It looks like it could easily just be a chameleon mask. So there you go. I know I'm wrong, but I feel like it has something to do with Punisher. What do you guys think? Let me know what you, what your speculation is. But I think chameleon does make more sense. Um, I want to know what you guys think about this live stream. Overall, it felt a little, a little underwhelming, but I think that's because our expectations were set so high. We had heard about them revealing a Secret Wars wave. I thought they're going to do a lot more than just a Secret Wars wave, but you know that's that's what it is. So, and at the end of the stream, the team mentioned how much they love the Deadpool and Wolverine movie during their Q and A, and that they are very likely going to make more characters from that movie. I think we're going to get our Fox Avengers characters. My favorite reveal, I, I would probably say, is the Beyonder for sure. The Beyonder, and then. Uh, Titania is number two. So uh, let me know what your favorite reveals are. You know, I, I'm pretty stoked about those two. I'm happy to get the new Spider-Man figures too. I'm surprised we didn't see Spider-Boy. You know, that, that kind of tripped me out. So um, yeah, and I don't think... I have to I have to look through my lists here. So I'll leave an annotation if uh, Sentry and x man he called anything else that i didn't mention i think one of them mentioned titania actually i think century mentioned titania i'll look at the list and i'll update this with an annotation so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'll have uh my review on the hasbro pulse exclusive sentinel 2 pack going up tomorrow hit that like button hit that subscribe button 
and stay tuned for more i'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching peace hey new short miss prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't